This game was gifted to me from LB. Thank you very much, LB. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's take a look at the store page. The information says, in 1802, the merchant ship Oberdin set out from London for the Orient with over 200 tons of trade goods. Six months later, it hadn't met its rendezvous point at the Cape of Good Hope, and it was declared lost at sea. Early this morning, the early this morning of October 14th, 1807, the Oberdin drifted into port at Falmouth with damaged sails and no visible crew. As an insurance in investigator for the East India's Company London office, dispatch immediately to Falmouth, find a means to board the ship and prepare an assessment of damages. Uh, no worries, Conklin. Not a problem at all. Uh, Return of Oberdin is first person mystery adventure based on exploration and logical deduction. Alrighty then, are we ready? Are we strapped in? Let us begin. I have my paper, I have my pencil. We're gonna make loads of notes and stuff. And um, I think ultimately there is about, um, I think the concept behind it is from what I've seen is that there are about 60 members of crew. And the idea is we have to kind of like try and work out the fate of all 60 and what happens. So um, yeah, very excited to play this without further ado. Let's jump in, shall we? Lost at sea, 1803, the good ship Oberdin, built 1796, London, 800 tons, 18 foot drought, drought. Captain R. Whitterall, crew, 51 men, last voyage, Orient, Cape, rendezvous, Unimet, sorry, contact East India City, a London office for inquiry or testimony. Okay. Uh, Honourable East Indian Company. Attention, Chief Inspector, Insurance and Claims, Loan Office. The Oberdin has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare for full assessment. <coughs> Falmouth, England, 1807. Company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Oberdin. <laughs> Where is Deathwish? Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late, if you ask. I didn't. <laughs> What's in the box? I don't know. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. Alrighty then, so... Okay, so he looks like it's zooming. All right, old dude. Uh, I'm pointing. Does that mean you want me to go? Or am I just like trying to balance myself? <laughs> uh, okay, so... Um... Okay, so left click seems to be some form of uh, action button. Gotta find a way for this guy to winch my stuff onto here or Hello What's that over there? Is that over there? Weird. Well, you, sir, are dead. Let's 
the other ship that way. That could be a good idea, maybe. I don't seem to be able to interact with a lot though right now. The guy's got flies. Okay, so it seems like when I get some close to something I can interact act with, my my hand kind of reaches Fly! out. Hi. It's too heavy. Can I lower him a winch or something? Kind of like take his boat or something, and maybe go over to the other thing. It's too heavy. Take it yourself or open it here. Okay. It's too heavy. All it's got in it is a book. <laughs> really? It's a D. Return of the Aberdeen, a catalogue of adventure and tragedy, 1807. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Aberdeen. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the page of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Aberdeen is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return to the book and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans. Okay, so we have 10 chapters by the looks of it. So the journey was, looks like we're going to um, Madeira by the looks of it. And then we've got the deck plans. So we've got surgery, crew, starboard walk, carpenter shop, cargo hold. All right, so that's kind of like a map. I guess it's going to tell us where uh, everything is on the boat. Alright, so it's going to somewhere down South Africa via the Canary Islands by the looks of it. Okay. So we have the full crew list here of 60 people. Lots of seamen. Giggity. Um, from a okay so as we work out the fate uh, okay oh dear so I guess as we work out the fate we're probably going to get to see like their faces and stuff So I guess the idea is we hover over each of these pictures and we assign them. Okay, that's interesting. So that's yeah, that's the uh, that's the picture that we just looked at. And here we have a glossary. Okay, so that's just telling us basically about each of the roles on the ship. And we have our pocket watch. Memento mortem, remember death. All right, so we can Interesting that there was still some
Can I not just like go back like, one or two pages on this? Let's have to cut to his quarters. All right, things are highlighted there. Interesting. All right, so. I guess he's got nothing more to tell us then. I dare say he's just gonna like do one in a minute as well, isn't he? All right, so. Our Who Done It quest begins. No sprint key. So this guy must be the captain, right? That guy's got to be the captain because they were like breaking the door down to get in to see the captain, right? This is the guy that's dead on the floor. Here, I can't get into the like the captain's quarters, which I guess this is what this is. And it looks like I've used all my time. All right, interesting. All right, so that's the end. Who is this and how did they die? So this is this guy, right? Captain opened the door. This guy who said this line here, I think, is the captain. So the guy who's dead here said these two lines. This other guy said this one. Okay. Yeah, get it right, Deathwish. <laughs> All right, so that would possibly make him the captain right all right so we go back to here uh, we go back to the crew okay so he's the captain but at the minute, that's pretty much all we know, right? Let's uh, just go back to the pictures on the end. That's where it happened. Yeah. So the unknown guy is, is that guy. We don't see another picture of the captain. It happened on the boat. 
He was on the boat with a gun. We win. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so maybe we should now go into the captain's quarters if we can. We just don't know who these... Who this other guy is. And what actually happened to him either. I wonder if we can see anything else by going up to the top actually into the captain's... Oh, who's this guy? Okay, so where was he going with his knife? More to the point. Was he going to, like, cut something open? <laughs> well, I'm not exactly sure I, there's anything else to see here, though. Okay, so we've identified that these people were present. is there alright let's go through this door probably end this segment okay so let's go into the captain's quarters we have more dead people here, it seems. Door is locked. I see dead people. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. of the sea. That's a lie. Okay, so they're the two people that I saw before, right? He's dead. The other guy doesn't look like he's here anymore. You don't get a lot of time, do you? Jeez. So I think the captain said they're at the bottom of the sea because they're trying to break into the captain. So the captain shot the other guy and the other guy's like charging in because I guess back in the olden days you had like one shot and then you had two um <clears throat> redo like reload your gun quite slowly so 
see, where did that guy go? I don't know where that guy went. We'll maybe find that out in a moment. Because there is more to be found. There was another corpse, wasn't there? Oh, hello. There's the other guy, look. So it looks like he's trying to maybe come around the outside and blindside the captain, possibly. So yeah, he's fighting with him. The gun's now on the floor. But the captain... Well, the captain's... All right, yeah, I'm getting confused. So the captain has now slit that guy's throat. They had the conversation. He charged it with that stick that he picked up out from out here. It was laying on the floor out here before. Snacks there as well. Yeah, he's charged the captain with it. Captain's got a knife. And then he's slit his throat. All right. Guess we've got to go back through here. So it seems like initially it only gives you like a small time frame, but then um, then it seems to actually give you a little bit longer as long as you want. So I'm guessing this guy is the. I'm guessing this guy is like the ninja guy who tried to like attack from behind. That's the other guy dying after he's slit his throat. Okay, so he's coming behind the captain. And he is... Yeah, he stabbed the captain. And then the captain's kind of like smashed him around the head with that um, thing that he had. So that's like the captain's, possibly the captain's wife, partner. Okay. She's just the ship's <laughs> Oh, death wish. The fact that he stood next to the captain makes me think he is like some... Um, he could be like first mate or something. The fact that he is stood next to the captain in this picture here. Okay. <laughs> no worries, poor Ponky. Good to uh, 
Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Not a problem at all. Alright, so is there anything else to see around here? See, I can't... I can't ninja over there like that guy did. So I guess she's the one that's going to like come to her fate next then. Alright, well. It's pretty badass though, it's like taking on all these guys, all these people. Right, well. I think I'm done. So, next I will go in here. Alright, so we've got two bodies in here. This cat's is badass. Abigail. Your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. I'll be with you soon, my love. Please forgive me for everything. Right, so Captain has shot himself. Yep, Captain shot himself. Okay, so. Captain shot himself. We should now be able to identify this woman and the person that he shot originally. We now know that her name is Abigail and it was her brother that he shot. So that's the guy outside. So if we look at the roster, uh, the manifest for the ship, um, find Abigail's name, we then should be able to work out who this guy is here as well. He didn't shoot everybody though, did he? He only shot the first guy, and then he shot himself. No, he didn't. Suicide with a gun. This may or may not be correct. Okay. <laughs> I'm sticking with that for now. So, I need to go back now to the manifest uh, the crew. So, Abigail. All right, so. Abigail is Oh, 
Where is she? Oh, wait a second now. That's not the captain. Possibly. Abigail's last name is Witterall. Right, 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 right. Okay. I've got this wrong. I've got this wrong. So, the guy I thought was a captain is actually the first mate. So, William Hoscutt. Okay, so we need to take his fate off. Okay. So, William is actually this guy and he committed suicide with a gun okay now the captain is this guy and he was shot with a gun by him. Okay. That's right, isn't it? I'm sure that's right. Right, so this is the captain. That has to be the captain. Well, on the assumption that... To Abigail, your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. I'll be with you soon, my love. Please forgive me for everything. Well, assuming... I mean, we don't, we don't know at the minute, but assuming it's related to this scene... That would be correct. All right. Well, Mr. Payne could solve this. Hey, I'm not so sure. Where is she? She is Abigail. Use the book and the pocket watch to gather enough information to use their identity. Revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, reappearances, and activities. Use the book maps, cruise manifest, and ask sketches two to four, along with the individual conversation logs to find clues about names, relationships, appearances, and roles. Well, I know who this is. There are 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You'll have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through the process of elimination. Good luck. For well, you, my darling, are Abigail. Royalty. Carry on and pay attention. The first one will be the That's fine. Right, so that's fine. Um. 
All right, so these guys are unblurred. So yeah, I think that's, yeah, we, we know their identity, basically, is what it's telling us. When it unblurs them, we can basically work out their identity. All right. So we now know that's Abigail. All and yeah, he definitely shot himself. Definitely his musket. That he's, yeah, he's picked the gun up off the floor. The gun's no longer there. And uh, he's dead. Alright, so I'm, I'm happy with that so far. I'm happy with that so far. What do the X's mean? Does that mean I got it wrong? Well, it doesn't know because it's not going to reveal the fate until I guess three, it said, didn't it? So I don't know if it's right or wrong at the moment. Oh my goodness. What the mother hubbard is that? Is that like a kraken or something? people here. It's that guy again. Wow, that guy's just lost his legs. Wow, so many freaking people. So when the first mate was talking to his partner, she's already dead, I think. I think she's already dead. All right, so she's been crushed. I've not identified everybody just yet. All right, but she was crushed by a beam, rigging. Yeah, by falling rigging. Okay, that's cool. Right, that's that's cool. All right, so I think she was crushed. So 
she was talking to somebody called... Don't understand what's going on here. Now, I know that that woman was talking to a guy called Martin. My dear God. He's throwing him a gun. This is so much to take in. Jeez. Well, this guy was... Crushed by the beast, I guess. It wasn't decapitated, it wasn't eaten. Torn apart. Looks like he's already been ripped apart there. Where's the rest of him? I want to go that he was...
His feet were above the tentacles. I don't really understand what's going on at this part of the game, I'll be honest. You're saying he was all there, though. Okay. happening there. That's the guy who is still... Okay, so this is before, obviously. That guy's trying to bring the guns. That's the guy we saw throwing the guns before, wasn't it? Yeah. They've done some sort of explosion there. So that guy looks like he's died. He was tied to some rope. It looks like the guy was tied to some rope. Get to the main bit quickly. Hold on. Throw it. Throw the powder. Yeah, the the bit. I, I don't know what they mean by the bit. I don't know if they mean like the main bit of the Kraken or, you know, the beast. See, that seems like he's died from being... He's died from ex an explosion. Looks like he's thrown the powder and then it's exploded. Would be my guess. It still seems like he got crushed. So, yeah, he was part of this, wasn't he? Hmm. All right, that's what we get. I think we've explored kind of like all of this for now. That looks like an explosion to me, though. Did, would you agree, Deathwish? Looks like he's thrown some powder and it's exploded. Explosion. <laughs> oh, hello. How is that meant to be? A deer? Goat, maybe? Oh, hello. He 
It looks like he's just fallen off the ship. Quite possibly, he was uh, all the way up there. This guy looks like he could be about to get like strangled by that rope. Don't know for sure. identify this guy now, the only other name that I that rings to you think he's the guy with only the torso yeah that could, that could be that might not be a bad shot I thought that was the other guy though Deathwish I thought that was the guy with the tats uh this guy here, I thought he was the one. He's the one that the Kraken grabbed, and I just assumed. Um, with the tentacles, but I think you said that um, his legs were still there, right? So. Yeah, this guy here, look. He's the one that's being. Okay, okay. Now, who's Martin? That's kind of what I want to... What we need to find out. Dude's just been crushed by a cannon. I think that's pretty safe to say. has been decapitated. So how did he get decapitated? There was somebody else there, wasn't there?
All right, so this guy, don't know who he is, but this guy was crushed by a cannon. Right, so it seems like we can actually identify that dude. <laughs> but then has he been crushed by the can? I mean, it does pretty much look like he has been crushed by the cannon. One thing I do know about this game is that each crew member that has basically come, um, each crew member's death or disappearance is completely unique there's no duplicated fates I, I, I do know that much Shit, he was um That dude was decapitated by a cannon. So this this is like the bit that slightly before, isn't it? Yeah, because all these dudes are still down here. I'm sure there's a dude under there. There is a dude under there. I can see his feet, but I can't get to him at the minute. I think it's probably best to kind of like just try and pinpoint the deaths at least if I can't even do names at the moment so this dude he got shot he got decapitated did he get decapitated or did he just get shot by a cannon Oh, interesting. There's enemies and beasts. I don't know. What would you put that down as? I, I, he's clearly been decapitated. <laughs> decapitated by an illness. Oh, death wish.
The other dude, it sounded like he was being. It sounded like he was like being like ripped apart. That's what probably caused the cannon to be loose because as the cannon shot, the momentum would have pushed it backwards, I believe. So, if I had to guess, I would say that's what caused the other cannon to come loose and like crush the other dude. Alright, so... It's that dude there, he's like underneath. can't seem to I think I saw him there on the other I right, we'll guess we'll get to find out more about him now Alright, so here. Sorry. Sorry about that. So here it looks like, yeah, the, the Kraken has grabbed the cannon. He was crushed by a beast. Are these the dudes we've seen? Already seen all these guys. So this guy was crushed by the beast? Because I've already said I've already said that um somebody's been crushed by a cannon. The other dude, so <laughs> um
I wonder how many women were actually on the ship. Yeah, I'm starting to think that myself, actually. So no Abigail. Got Emily Jackson, Miss Jane Bird. So these guys from Formosa, I think they're like the what they're like almost like the royal people. China. Hmm. Uh, where are we? We're on the doom, aren't we? All right, I'm not sure that that's the right fate for him. All right, no worries, buddy. No worries. See, I said that he was blessed by a cannon, but I, I'm start, I don't know if he was like the decapitated guy. Struck by hooves, tail, or wing? Jeez. You see, we're just assuming, I guess, that um, we're making the assumption that he's dead, fire, he got killed by a loose cannon because that's like the... Um, That's what the dialogue said to us. She says I can... Since I can revisit things, but
Let's see, yeah, we know all these people. I just feel like I want to hear back like the dialogue lines and stuff. Maybe I can. See, that's why I said that guy got crushed by the cannon, because he is actually under a cannon. And so was this guy here. <coughs> Excuse me. Seems like right at this moment in time that there's a lot of similarities in the um I just guess that's like the idea behind the game though. There's a lot of similarities behind and in the like ways people are dying. So there is a knife back there. This person may have been stabbed. Oh no! You're cut! Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Tell me, Scottish. I, I, I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back to save him. You tell her yourself. <laughs> Brennan! Bring the surgeon's kit! <laughs> Alright, so... This guy here, who I thought was some officer, he's Scottish. Yeah, he'd be able to tell us who it was. chapter it looks like uh, you haven't really death wish to be fair um, we haven't finished off all of the parts in the previous bit we was doing we've moved on um, and I, I feel like I've taken quite a lot of my assumptions off at the moment Tell Pete's mother I tried my best to pull him back to save him. So that's somebody that's gone overboard. Somebody called Pete then has obviously gone overboard. Um, is it overboard or has he been taken by something? So one of the people outside is called Brennan. And this guy's been cut. So...
I would say knifed, but then I'm thinking as well that Oh, this is pretty cool. Okay. So he's in all of these, right? This dude was grabbing the Kraken and the dude with the rope was trying to save him. But the power of Christ's call, he got sliced by the rope. Oh, jeez. Hold on, what's this? Hold on. Uh... Not this one. Uh, this is escape, isn't it? So it's that guy there. All right, well. Given that we know that the cap, this is the captain. I want to take a punt and say this guy's name is Brennan. Do we see a guy called Brennan anywhere? Page six. Ah, here we go. Henry Brennan. Okay. Now the other guy here, uh, that's the guy that's died. It must be the captain with him then, I guess. Yeah, okay. It must be the captain. assume that so I would assume that Brennan would have been like pretty close yeah okay so he's like listening I think yeah I think that's right but then we got two more dudes here who are Ceased. Okay, he was further down there. I think he was the guy that was bringing all the guns, right? 
Again, though, it looks... It's really hard to tell from this, but it looks like he's been decapitated as well. Jeez. So many de decapitations. dead. Looks like he's been shot. It looks like he's been clubbed. So yeah, that's the captain coming down to this guy. And he's been stabbed. He's been knifed in the back. I think we can probably put that down at his, his, his fate. Looks like he's been shot in the head. I think that's the, like the rest of his head, possibly. All right. Okay. I think it, it just adds to the. It kind of adds to like the game in as much that it just makes it that little more you have to pay more attention to what's being said and what's going on so i don't know how, what his name is but it looks like he was clubbed to death by we said this was brennan didn't we we said that guy's brennan So he clubbed him. Clubbed by a seal. <laughs> All right, so then the other guy on this page, he has been knifed. But we don't know who by. So that is definitely first mate. Is it though? You see this This makes me doubt again that I've got the captain and the first mate the wrong way around again because the guy who was speaking to the guy who's been knifed was Scottish. Right, and according to my reasoning so far, I've got that guy down as the captain who is talking to this guy here. But when we look at the manifest, the captain is English and the first mate is Scottish. Okay. But if that's the case... Yeah. 
if that's the case, then why would why would the captain your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. Abigail's last name was Oh 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 right so yeah I've got it the wrong way round So William Hoscutt is Scottish and so is Abigail Hoscutt Whitrell. Of course, didn't see that before. So yeah, the Abigail is married to the captain and it's the captain who is talking to her right at the end there. So... He committed suicide with a gun. He was shot. Um, let's change these around. Hold on. So, oh man. So, this guy is not the captain. He is first mate this guy is the captain who shot himself this dude was shot by a gun by the captain <laughs> All right, so we have done our first three fates. So we've got to stay on the ball with this game. We've got to stay on the ball. That's what I've really, I'm really enjoying this. This is, this is great. So yeah, the, the, the clue there was, <laughs> the, the, the big giveaway there was the fact that that was down as the, um, the other guy, the captain, but the captain is not Scottish, so it had to be the first mate. And then when I looked back at the manifest, I realised that. Um, Abigail was married to the captain, not the first, uh, not the captain's brother. Yeah. All right. Uh, give me another, if you're good for about another 30 minutes, Deathwish, let's play a little bit more of this, and then uh, I am more than happy to play Worms for an hour or so. If you're down with that, my friend. All right, so we're saying he was clubbed by Harry. Uh, Henry, sorry, Henry. This dude was knifed. Did you say you saw that information somewhere else, Deathwish? I mean, I'm assuming by the blood splatter on the ceiling, this guy has just shot this guy in the head. I'm sure we're going to find out in a moment, though. I have to say, back in the... Uh, the 1800s, they had all the freaking, all the mod cons and all the technology, didn't they? These, these, 
pocket watches, man, that can like bring corpses back onto a ship out of thin air and make you see the memories, man. All, all the mod cons. I'm starting to think they were time travelers. All right, so let's listen. Yep, his head was blown clean off, jeez. like he doesn't really know what to do anymore by the looks of it. Oh jeez. Now is he throwing him overboard or is he trying to save him? So this guy was he was shot by a gun or would you say decapitated for this one? Exploded? No, I don't think he's exploded. This guy is popping up a lot, isn't he? Well, I'm not sure I can really... ...take anything else from this at the moment. Yes, and he comes down here. With okay, so yeah, this validates kind of like the theory of before. So we've got the uh, first mate here, he comes down with Henry, sees what's going on here, and smacks him around the head and clubs him to death. So there was somebody else in here that this guy was talking to as well. But yeah, I'm guessing that's decapitation interesting that this no it's not I thought that door was open I looked at the wrong way I looked at the door the wrong way Duh. okay alright so now we're going to find out what this guy is doing what's happened to this guy Oh, 
jeez. So, this woman here has just shot him. He's dead. here, Henry's here. First mate guy's here. That guy's creeping up again. So he's just got blasted. He just got shot by a gun. I just feel like shot by a gun's coming up too often. That'd be pretty cool to see, though. All right, so we don't know her name, so we can't say... We can't say who that was at the moment. It was by her, but we don't know what her, her name is at the minute. Should be able to identify them, though, apparently. All he said was let them go. Or was it him? I don't, don't think that's not him that's saying let them go though, because I think when they when they're actually speaking, they get an X next to the text. So it's not actually him speaking. So, sounds like his name is Paul. She says, Paul, look out. There's the captain. There's the guy that's in like every single freaking scene. I think he was fair to say he was killed by a sword. He's talking, he says, last one, move quickly. He says, oi, you'll not take the last boat. She says, Paul, look out. Somebody says, stop, let them go. He says, no, and then he says, damn, because he's been stabbed. 
to this guy. Why couldn't they have made him David Jones? That would have been so much. <laughs> There's no Paul on here. Oh, Paul Moss. And he was killed with a sword by, I don't think we know this other dude's name at the minute, do we? Let's check that there is no one the else called Paul in the list. All right. Did he sound Welsh? I don't know. It's says this guy is the guy that killed him. You mean Cluedo? So I'm guessing the woman, everybody else on that little boat got away on the boat. I don't know where they're going though. Where did she get the gun from though as well? She's got a gun there. Whose fate is next? Seems like we missed some stuff. Looks like we should have come down, possibly. So, just before we do this, let's go back over to here. Last one. Move quick. United the last I was going to listen back to the audio books. At least we can go back. I've just, I just wanted to check that earlier on. Actually, but we can go back and um, at least listen to the audio clips and things again, which is good. I thought we'd probably have to, especially when you're trying to deduce accents and things. All right, so let's go down here. Squid's gone. 
Your mate was torn apart. The damn the beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. The captain came up from the hole. Said he chased it off. <coughs> you should rest. The curse lies on. Sounds like he was poisoned or something, possibly. Alright, so I don't think there's too much to take away from that at the moment. It doesn't seem. You mate was torn apart. Expired. How did they die if they expired? So the only things that like strike me the um the only thing that strikes me at the moment is either poisoned illness or expired. I guess expired they mean just like died of natural causes perhaps, but it sounds like something has happened to him. So I don't think we can really... But his face isn't blurred out. So... All right, I couldn't really pick up on his accent either, if I'm completely honest. I couldn't really work anything out from that. So... Right, I think we're... It is unique, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad I um, put it on my list. <laughs> Four wayward souls disappear during the events of this chapter. Their fates are catalogued here. All right, so I guess that's what the slashes are. Now, I mean, it seems to me... But these guys are on the boats. Just don't know where they actually ended up. be really interesting if like once you like work out the entire chapter where you actually do see that as like a visual cutscene that would be like 
that'd be pretty interesting to like, see it all as like one continuous kind of thing. I don't know if that is a thing or not, but that, that would be pretty cool. I have to say. It looks like these guys are potentially, I don't know, they kind of look like prisoners, but I guess not. Yeah, so this is the guy that killed the other dude. But we don't know what his name is at the minute. Is this the, um, okay. This looks like it's that guy hanging there. Could possibly be the... He's been impaled in the leg. see everybody yeah there are some um definitely tell by the um subtitles moida yeah the guy hanging looks like it's from the, the guy who is hanging um in the in like the main picture so corpse was moved post-mortem hmm oh, so we don't know where the corpse has moved to yet But yeah, that guy that's hanging, it looks like this dude here. So, all right. I want to say he was shot, but I mean, we, we can't really say for sure. I mean, in this picture here, it looks like he's being strangled of, of some description. So... chickens and pigs. So it looks like these... It looks like these dudes were actually trying to escape. So I think that's, that's Paul, isn't it? Paul got... Was, oh, I pressed the button too early. Alright, so we have options here. about the guy who is hanging. I 
I pressed space. I didn't mean to press space. I was still like investigating people there. Yeah, it, it's it's a miracle, Deathwish. My space bar works. Alright, so I don't want to do that just yet. Where was the last dude that we dealt with? I um, just want to go back to that scene. Let's see how this guy died. Oh, there's more about this guy that's been hung over here. Also, I can go down here now. there I think all right so we got some sort of workshop the workshop tools through one of the openings. Oh wow, I thought that was like literally somebody stood there. Dead of course, but... I think I gotta go all the way down to the bottom end of the ship again though. To get down here. Trips here. There's something fishy going on down here, though, isn't there? Clearly. Got two corpses there. Alright, well, I just want to go and take a look to see. Um, what's about down here? I just want to go and take a look to see how this guy hanging, and then I'll probably. I'm going to call it there for tonight. And we will pick it up again.
Let's see uh, what happened to this guy. Hoxeng Lao, you have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasquale. Quiet! As captain of this ship, and by the authority of the East India Company, and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. <laughs> Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Right, sir. Ready, men. Aim. Fire. Okay. So he's been shot. This guy here is Mr. Wolf. He's giving the order. I think it's like everybody out here is. Welcome along. Thank you for the lurk, my friend. There's already a dead body there. Alright, so. I know who this is. Because I said his name. So. His name was... Hok Seng Lung Lao. And he was You see he was killed by firing line. So how do you denote that? I don't know. Do you do you say the murderer was the guy who So this is Mr. Wolf. Well, I did just press, um, I don't know if you saw it, I did just press expired and it just says, it just comes up as died of old age. So it's definitely not that. Yeah, if you go to like here and expired, expired from old age, that's not the case. See, he was killed by these, these four people here.
It's um, I don't know. It's it's hard to say. doesn't look like one of those like missed I was just wondering if like three of the shots that have missed I mean, this one missed whoever shot this one missed that one missed ah actually jeez how do you tell? Uh, this one missed. That one missed. That one missed. This is the guy that killed him. This guy on the end here. Have we got a name for that guy yet, though? So it's the guy, the last guy. Henry. He was killed by Henry. Oh, wait a second. I've got the wrong Henry. Because the other guy asked him. <laughs> well, the, I, he's got to be Henry Evans because the... The guy down below, when we was talking about... When we was having the clip about the... Um, when we was having the clip about the guy who had been stabbed in the back... Sorry. Uh, the first officer guy said, Henry, bring your thingy, didn't he? Uh, hold on, let's go back to here. Oh, no, but he said Brennan, didn't he? Bring the surgeon's kit. All right, no, all right. I'm overthinking that. So this is murder. <laughs> All right, so just double check this again. He's definitely shot him. He's missed. He's missed. He's gone down the side of his leg. He's missing on the other side. All right, so yeah. Three shots, and then the fourth has actually shot him, which has come from this guy here. All right, well, this is... Um, this is pretty intense. I'm sure of that. 
I'm going to wrap it up there, guys, for tonight. We will be back investigating the Obra Dinn a little bit more tomorrow night. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate the support. Uh, until tomorrow, though, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.